When Jason Tucker went down in July with a serious neck injury, Kamal Peterson knew he couldn't just go out there and try to duplicate what Tucker does. That would be setting himself up for failure. Instead, Peterson's goal was to try to keep the Eskies offense from missing a beat. That if Edmonton could call the same plays they would have with Tucker in the lineup and execute the same plays, that Peterson will have been a success. Well, after 101 catches for over 1,300 yards and a nomination for Outstanding Canadian, Peterson has not only become Edmonton's top receiver, he's the heart and soul of this team. Ryan Rashog explains. Oh, what a hit, and he caught the ball! Kamal Peterson for Jason Tucker. In an instant, Kamal Peterson became a true emotional leader in the Eskimo locker room. Those are the kind of plays that can uh, kind of spark it for you as a team and uh, kind of get the momentum, go momentum going on your side. And um, definitely in that game, that's what got us going. Just really big situation because um, we just had so much energy flowing every time something happens, like we had different things on and all kinds of stuff like that. Like you see the receivers showing their 83 and stuff like that. And I mean, it just got us so hyped up for the game and everything. Trailing the Lions by 14 points late in the third quarter, facing second and 18, Peterson's emotional catch in tribute to Jason Tucker electrified an entire stadium and sparked his team to come back and win. It really, you know, kind of awakened me to how much emotion really plays into this game if you let it. And, you know, so I kind of made a point to play with more emotion. Uh, if that's what guys feed off of, uh, you know, I'm happy to do that. Heading into hostile territory with an offense that has been sputtering in recent weeks, the Eskimos will desperately need both Peterson's hands and heart. The challenge for him to remain focused in a stadium that was merciless during the Kamau Incompleterson days earlier in his career. Normally I do a really good job. Um, I, I make it a point. To, to just treat it like any other game, it's going to be tough this time just because, uh, you know, the atmosphere involved and the fact that it's one and done. Uh, but I'm hoping I can still <laughs> keep my head on my shoulders. While Peterson is a wily veteran of eight CFL seasons, the fact is when it comes to the postseason, he's relatively new at it. It's been seven years since he last made the playoffs as a rookie with the Calgary Stampeders. Mind you, he did win the Grey Cup that year. I've been around the league long enough to know what it takes to get in the playoffs. I just haven't been on teams good enough to get there. But, I mean, I, I'm a veteran of big games, I guess. So, I, I mean, I certainly am treating this game with all the due uh, urgency that, uh, that is required, I think. Ryan Rashog, TSN, Edmonton.